Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new video on Football Manager. Today I'm going to show you how to change most of your UI panels. Um, I will start with a few of them, show you how to do it, and with a cheat sheet that is provided by Arcondois. Arcondo, I think. Sorry if I mispronounce your name, buddy. Um, I'm, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to change those elements. As you can see in my game, it's looking hella ugly now with the papaya. It's I reckon it, my one of my mates recommended it. But yeah, this is how it looks. Um, let's get started. So I'm going to close the game. And first off, what we're going to be doing is opening up the Unity Asset Bundle Extractor from Avalonia. And in that, you want to upload the file called UI Styles Assets. Now, I'm quickly going to close the program and copy this into a different folder just so we can have a tutorial folder for this. So it's going to be called style tutorial. And in this, we're just going to paste it. Now you want to open up the editor. Open it up. And uh, go to your tutorial folder or the, uh, the place that you've got it. That, that just that you've got it. And once it once it's open, just press info. And you want to scroll down where it says Figma style variables. Go for edit data. And we're going to maximize this screen. Before you get started, you can scroll all the way down or you can do this. Press Ctrl F. Oops, edit data. Sorry, my bad. Ctrl F and you go for color. And there's a point where you go to vector colors. Once you're there, you can close this search bar and you can see what happens. Now, let me just quickly grab the style sheet. Be right back. Right, so this uh, Figma styles report from Arcondo um, is basically a sheet that will show you all of the different files, like the colors, uh, just as a just like as a reference. So we've got most of the colors in here now, for all of them, I believe, except for the tactic ones. And the tactic ones, I think those are in a different folder. And here, if you go, if if you scroll further down, you will see the style variables. So here, we'll also get the descriptions of what they do. Um, you can see here card. That is the panels that you will see when you open up the game. So the ones that were orange for me, officially, like the original color is this. Underneath is the transparency. I will quickly put that to the side. Another re really good tool is the website RGB Color Picker. Because this works with an RGB, you can pick your color and it will just basically bump out a RGB flow that you can put in. So with these two, I'll place them on my second screen. And the first one we want to pick is panel number eight. And if I look in the Figma report, you can say panel eight is the colors alpha dark uh, card alpha 95. So alpha 95 means 0 0.95 transparency. And the colors here or the numbers here are the RGB string. These can all be found on the forum. I will uh, leave a link also to uh, Arcondo's own like modded panel in the description. People deserve full credit. I'm not going to. I'm just a big buffoon who now suddenly has a lot of followers and is also sharing what's happening in the in the space. So give people the credit they deserve. Um go say hi and go say hi to them on Twitter. Um yeah, just just be a nice person. So let's change these. And I had a color in mind. The I, I like it to be a bit more turquoise-ish. Turquoise, turquoise. What's the, what's the official name? So these has to be 0 0.85. Let's do 40 and 20. So you will you will see that over here, this one will be... The R is going to be 0. The B is going to be... Oh, sorry, the, the G is going to be 0 0.2. So just 0.20. 
And make sure to use commas in this one. Because it's a float and it, it's a comma. Don't use, uh, don't, don't use adult. And then the B is going to be 40. I'm going to press Ctrl S. Save it. Now, I was unsure whether or not... Uh, I mean, I suppose this works because there are no more decimals, but you never know. It is sports interactive after all. And we'll move back to the cheat sheets. To see that the color alpha for number 8 now matches. Let's do 70. And for this, we will take the same color. We will just paste it. And we will, we will turn the A over here down to 0.70. As it says here, alpha 70. For the 57, we'll do the same. So that is, uh, sorry. That was 8, that was, yeah, so for, sorry, for number 10. That is 70, this needs to be 85. Oof. I've probably bolted up, haven't I? A bit blind today. Let's paste in the same values and do 70 here. As you can see, the values here for those three are all the same. It's just the, the alpha that changes. Now, uh, one more thing I want to show you is that I hate the pink text. Okay. Yeah, so here it is. So it, it is 161 in the brackets. I was having I was having the wrong end of the stick. You see, these are all the same still. Um, but for this one, you want to scroll down to 161. And to do that in your edit data tool, don't forget to save. Let's press Ctrl F. And you will do the brackets, not the parentheses, just the brackets, like the, the, the weird math ones or programming ones. You will do 161. You will close it. And you will see that you're instantly put to the to the uh, RGB data that provides this. Now, you can do a few things. Uh, you can make white text. So let's play with that first. And to make white, let me put the thing back on. To make white, it is quite simple. So let's put R1, B1. And B1. And let's save. Let's close up. Let's uh, exit uh, exit full screen. I'm only showing these four because it is really time consuming to go through everything. I wanted to keep it a, a short ish video today. Um, and this is something you can fiddle around with on your own. I do want to offer a quick update on the, on the modding scene though. Uh, the patch today released by SI on the 31st of October. It does contain uh, updated DLLs, which. I don't think it's malicious from them. Uh, but it could be that the Nouveau maybe had an update. So what that means is modding is on a code injection level. Not in the best of spots. We need to wait a little bit until we get more clarity on that. Uh, so just wanted to let you guys know. We are working. Today hasn't really been fantastic in that sense. We've made a lot of progress before the patch. But since the patch it's been... You know, things haven't really worked out the way that we like. Right, let's click OK. You want to do the same thing here as you did the last few videos, is go save. You will see file saved, complete changes, exit this window, and save file and bundle. OK, close this one. And you'll see that there's a star next to the bundle name. And you will just save it and close it. Then you go back to your style tutorial. And you will see that the date modified used to time. Mine is now 2037. And the time on my de device, which you can't see, uh, but it is, let me put my face cam to the side a little bit. As you can see right over here, 2037. Okay, cool. Now you're going to copy this file. You'll go back to the streaming assets AA standalone windows and you'll override it. 
I have a backup somewhere else. Don't worry, guys. It's it's going to be fine for me. Just make make sure that you have a backup of the original file in case something does go wrong. With that said, it, I think it's time to run it and see what it does. Now, where the pages were uh, orange initially, right now they are blue. So you can see that the changes in transparency we did worked. You, you can now see that the text is also white instead of purple. Um, and those are just four changes we've made. I can go back to the squad panel and you can see the only thing that's a mystery to us all is, and this is Tottenham, I'm a Chelsea supporter, so I just made this for a person that I, that, that asked. Um, in fact, I'll do the person on Reddit. Let's go, to, oh, sorry, that was wrong. Let's go to the Dravinia save. It was this one, wasn't it? Oh, Shaggy McGranny. There we go. So yeah, as you can see on the Dravinia save, we have now loaded in and all of the panels here are actually blue instead of orange. Same for the squad. Only thing is tactics. That's a bit of an iffy thing. They'll need to uh, figure out how exactly that works. Let's also close the code injection. Um, here, as you can see, the, the tactics are just a bit iffy. It is what it is. Anyway, guys, hopefully that has been very clarifying to you. I will, again, uh, full credit to Akondo. He's the one who uh, has been the person who has really carried this forward. Um, big credits and shout out to him. Check him out on Twitter, on, on the forums. Um, yeah, my name has been Bassy Boy. Hopefully this will make your FM experience better. And I will see you guys in a later one. Goodbye.